case of a phacomorphic uh, cataract with the phacomorphic glaucoma, the IOP was very high. Uh, we had to perform a peripheral idotomy. If you can notice, there is one mark here and one mark here. The, cha uh, the chamber was very shallow, totally flat. And this is after a couple of days of doing a idotomy. No. Hilana nahi hai. Hilana nahi hai. Bilkul nahi hilana. Nahi hilana. Now we will stain the cataract. Light ko dekhenge madam. Madam light ko dekhenge please. Baut badiya kar rahe please hilaye nahi. Visco. So the trick in these cases is that always make sure that your chamber is well inflated. The interior chamber, the capsule is totally flattened. And zonules in these cases are expected to be slightly weak. We try and aim for a larger axis because sometimes it won't be surprising that it comes out as a Morgagnian central hard red brown nucleus coming out. So we made a large axis here. And now, so whenever you see a very shallow chamber, it's a very good idea to do an aridotomy. Otherwise, once you dilate the patient on the day of the OT, things will go out of control. Gardan pakadlo, patient ke, bhaag raha Gardan aise, is a very uncooperative patient. Now we will expose the tip slightly more since it's a hard cataract. Lift the cornea. Nay, madam. Lift the corneal wound when you go in. Using a heavy paper power. Luckily for us, the central core is not very hard. And we are able to crack the cataract. So when you are attempting to separate such cataracts, always be aware that the, there is a probability of... Since the pupil is going down small on me, so I am doing a deep flip technique. This is one of my favorite go-to techniques in small pupils. I don't need to actually go in and shove the cataract in the bag. You can see the pupil is not very well dilated. of epithet or adrenaline is not very effective. So the, the surgery is over. It didn't last I think not even two minutes. This patient came to us with a high intraocular pressure and as I mentioned you can use your left hand to get an exposure you can use a bimanual irrigation but the only thing is if you're using a bimanual sometimes you cannot get a very good exposure so they have been nearly cleaned up the whole cortical matter there and now we will go in and put in the IV. Surgery is over. So we performed uh, three peripheral adotomies on the day when the patient came to us and the IOP one is here. The second one you can visualize is here, there, this is the second one, this is the first one and there's another one here. So these are the three peripheral adotomies. They saved the day. Now if we had proceeded for a cataract surgery without performing these adotomies, we would have definitely landed in trouble. 
because they would have been an acute angle closure so the lesson learned from this video is whenever you have a shallow anterior chamber with a cataract especially an intubescent cataract a shallow anterior chamber depth this patient had an anterior chamber depth of 1.28 if i'm not mistaken on biometry this was a disaster waiting to happen so we did a pi waited put the patient off on nsaid and stirred for some time and there you go thank you the surgery is gone very well amma operation bahut badhiya ho gaya aapka